Okay, so I decided to stay outside. Um, so this is layout number seven, I think. This is video number three of August Dozen Day. And this layout I made with um, my daughter's actual skirt. This um, is part of her skirt. And then she's a big fan of like cutting herself out of the pictures, which sometimes like kind of drives me crazy because I let her have um, kind of free range of the scrapbooking room and the pictures. So she'll go in and pick what, what she likes. And then sometimes it's very frustrating for me when she cuts herself out of the picture. But in this one, there was not a lot going on in the background. So I was okay with her, with me. I actually cut that out. And then I put the skirt on her and then she noticed me doing it. And she said, well, the girl, you know, I really like what you're doing, mom, but she needs legs. <laughs> so she drew in the legs for me. Um, the journaling on this one is Allison is always making things like artwork for daddy, Barbie clothes, Barbie furniture, Barbie roller coaster, a swing for baby buttons, um, a Barbie hammock. They really did. I mean, we make a lot of Barbie furniture around here. It's amazing. Um, origami, hairstyles for herself and me, bubble bath potions, cupcakes, homemade Play-Doh, and super fun, cute stuff for all. So there's number seven, I think. Okay, here's number eight. This is a picture of her putting on sunscreen and then her at the beach and then more sunscreen pictures. And what I did is I made a collage in Picasso and then got this printed up as a four by six picture. So that's an easy way to do it and just ordered the picture so it's already, like those are already cut and pasted. I didn't have to I didn't have to cut those up. And then I'm trying to remember what the the deal on this page was, why I started it or what I did. I want to say it was a sketch from somewhere, but I don't really remember. I got to do my roots. <laughs> I went to the hairdresser a couple months ago and then I missed my appointment and um yeah, gosh. <laughs> it's always something. Um got to get my roots done. So there's it's just a nice summer page. That's number, what do we say, nine? Here's number ten. Um, this one is lots of paper strips, and I cut these with, I make those nice little cuts with a square punch, and on the, you know, just kind of cocky eye it um, on the edge of a paper strip. And then these are three different pictures of my kids, 2004, 2008, and 2012. So like four years apart. And I call this Growing Up, and I wrote, these photos were taken every four years, and it always amuses me to see the changes. I can only imagine what they'll look like in 2016. And so someday it might be cool to have this page on one side, and then the 2016 page on the other side. That would be cool. That would be fun. Number 11. I, um... I'm not like a huge fan of the cutesy or the duckies. I'm just noticing my double chin and it's making me self-conscious, sorry. Um, <laughs> but I was listening to, I guess the paper clipping round table, but probably other places too, have kind of like poo-pooed cutesy. And I get it, I am um, not like a huge fan of cutesy either. But these ducks were so cute, they were from October afternoon. This paper is Dear Lizzie and so, the story, the story of this page is my son is growing up. So the ducks are kind of like walking off into the distance, like here's like symbolic childhood, right? And then we're getting ready for the next stage yet. But we're not quite there yet, right? So this is, we went for a walk one night and so he's talking to me, or actually we were on our bikes and he said, hey mom, look at that house, it's for sale, like in our neighborhood. Do you think I could buy it, that house when I'm older? Sure, I said, if it's still for sale. Oh, he said, because I mainly want to make sure I live close to you. Aw. And so you said this while we were walking with umbrellas. Okay, we were walking um, in the rain and talked about Mary Poppins and flying umbrellas. And you are still a playful kid. And no, of course, that umbrella didn't make it home in one piece. You played with, the, with it the entire walk. So it was completely wrecked when we got home. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are also a guy who is looking towards the future, and I'm glad you want me to be in it. I love you, love mommy. And this is, Max says the sweetest things, and he really does, so 
There's a picture of my boy at 10. And our little ducks, like, getting older, getting ready for the next stage. And using cutesy stuff. Okay, layout number 12. This is another one of him using some older pictures. But I just had a whole lot of fun with the embellishments on this one. So there's, like, a whole ton of, like, dimensional embellishments. Um, some of these are Amy Tan, and then some of them are old. <laughs> some of them are just old, old stuff. But I, um, just had fun with the, you know, sometimes it's just fun to go crazy on embellishments. So that was kind of what this page was about. And then I wrote, these photos are from the summer of 2007, five years later, um, today look pretty much similar to these pictures. You spent the day in the pool with goggles and snorkel gear and we kayaked to the island and made a wild a wood path and painted and did archery and watched the Summer Olympics. And so we're big fans of my son has ADHD and so I talk to him a lot about Michael Phelps and um, how he had ADHD or he has it and that he's the best Olympic person in the whole entire world of all time and how he swims and that you can you know if you put your mind to anything you can do anything so there you go there's my there's some of my uh, dozen day for August 2012 and so I will see you next month hopefully hopefully with like makeup and more awesome hair um, but in the meantime, I'm Katie Scott with Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking, a type pad blog. Um, one thing that I put up yesterday was an index to all of the paper clipping roundtable episodes so that like all the ones with Stacey Julian, all the ones with Angie Lucas, like all the ones with Allie Edwards, and then all of the ones about creativity, about page design, about CHA, like I categorize them because I love to listen to that and I, I like to listen to certain ones when I'm in certain different moods and yes I listen over and over again um, and I kind of prefer podcasts to video even though I'm making a video I like the podcast because that way I can be scrapbooking whereas if it's a video you've got to be looking so I enjoy the listening part anyways uh, go check that out it's, it's a really long list it took me way longer than I expected to make it, so I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye.